Hey you guys, Grace Be Like Sims here, and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. Yes, I've got some phlegm in my throat. I don't know if you can hear it in the intro, but there's some phlegm. Isn't it interesting how the word phlegm is spelled phlegm? Yeah, so <laughs> it's part two. Unless, depending on how the editing, we might still be in part one. Who knows? And go to work, please. <laughs> Y'all gonna listen to the teacher. Yeah, I was gonna have them go out in the middle of the night. But they ended up sleeping through the whole night, so I guess we'll do that tonight instead. And right now they're going to preschool, because I have the preschool mod, and like, some of you might think this is cheating, but this isn't really a regular seven toddler challenge. This is a game of toddlers, okay? So, we gotta get lit, which is why there's the fabulous theme music in the background right now. Are you eating brownies? Hodor, you do not need- uh, whatever. Why is he uncomfortable? What do you mean the house is dirty? You mean this one speck of dirt? Unless there's something in his inventory. I'm confused. He keeps feeling uncomfortable because the house is so-called dirty. But there's nothing dirty here. Like, everything is clean. So I don't I don't know what his problem is. But okay. But yeah, what I want to do today then, since Hodor can't... Oh, wait, who's this? Ah, oh, it's just a regular person. Since we can't go, I'm going to look around town and see if I can see any of the sims that I added into the world. And I'm sorry if you can hear any, like, car sounds from the background. It's because, you know, for the summer, I'm back home in the city. So there might be some sounds. Now, if I can't meet anyone here, I might just have to start visiting houses. I know I placed people, like, all over the neighborhood. Um, oh, wait, who's that? Tell me who you are, who you, Lily Fang. No, I don't want her. I want people who are, like, you know, cool. People live here? People live all over the place. Yeah, it looks like we're just going to have to start visiting houses. So, I think what we'll do... I want to meet Melisandre. I think I placed her here. This is either Melisandre or Davos. I want to visit the residence. So, let's go. It's just us going because the kids are at toddler school. So, let's go. I don't know why he's uncomfortable. Maybe we should hire a maid. Do we have the funds for that, though? Like, do we really need a maid? I don't think we do, but, like, maybe there's something dirty that I just can't see. Oh, yes, we are here. We've met Melisandre. You know what they say, the night is dark and full of terrors. Oh my god, friendly introduction. This is so exciting. Oh, she's beautiful. I love her. Uh, oh, we're uncomfortable. I might take the um the private practice mod out because nobody has time for that right now. Okay, let's talk about cooking, you know? Let's talk about, let's see how she feels about her kids. Can we talk about her family? Well, first of all, let's ask her what, he do, what she does. I think the person who created this sim did a really good job. Like, I feel like she looks pretty accurate to um, her character in the show. And I think that's definitely a cool thing. Let's get to know all of her traits, you know. I want to know everything about her. Oh, she's unemployed. Oof. Sorry, Melisandre. I don't know what to tell you. But that's okay, that just means she's always around to help us out with the kids. Which is perfect. Ooh, she's self-assured. Um, what else? Genius and ambitious. Oh. Well, those are some great traits. Okay, um, I can invite her out tonight, maybe. Well, not like out, out. What does her house look like? Yeah, I just placed her here. I don't know what it looks like in here, so this might not even be the right house for her. But let's see. Ooh, who's this? Mortimer God. Nobody cares. Wow, this is really simple. Ooh, whoa, there's a boy here. Oh, Davos. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Um, Does he live here with her? Do they live together? I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. But, like, they're not a couple, though. Hold on. What? What is going on? I didn't realize Davos lived here. Ooh, they have one of those woohoo closets. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, okay. You know what? Hey, I ain't questioning it. I ain't questioning it. <laughs> So this is Sir Davos Seaworth, also known as the Onion Knight. So the story about him is that, like, everybody in the town was starving. They had no food. And then he went and got a bunch of onions and fed everybody. So that's basically his story. You know, the simplified version. Um, let's get to know him some more. We can have, like, a deep conversation. Mikey, if you don't get the heck out of here, or whatever her name is, like, what is Ma Ike? Like, what is that? What is your name? I'm sorry if anyone out there has this name. 
and it's like you're pronouncing it wrong but i don't know how else to pronounce that like i don't know what that is but yeah i just want to get to know these guys because if they become our friends we can have them come over and help us out with our kids which would be great oh he's family oriented that's good and he's good oh my god what about his third trait what's his last trait we're making friends no i don't want him to hang out tonight you know what we're gonna leave this group we're gonna make our own club because this club is annoying like nobody has time for you people we're gonna make a club and we're gonna call it um like game of thrones and we're gonna i wish they had a, a throne oh this is this is funny this is hilarious but no we'll call it uh we'll put a coffee tub we'll do that so this is the game of thrones club and the two people in the club are these guys for now and our club activities are being friendly to each other because that's what we do no 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 social no social be friendly with the game of thrones club and what else i could put cleaning as an activity so that they can come and clean my house <laughs> this might be a little cheat but that's okay can i make them take care of kids because that'd be nice i guess not okay that's fine uh yeah that, that'll work for now those are those would be our two activities <laughs> check oh it is not open invitation hold on it is invite only thanks but yeah Hodor has successfully created the Game of Thrones club. Oh, thank you. Okay, well. Oh, Hodor's needs are terrible. Are these two really in a relationship? That's really weird to think about, but whatever. Um, oh yeah, I should show you where I got them on the gallery. Hold on, let's look. But yeah, so this is Melisandra from the gallery, in case you guys want to download her. Uh, she was made by Seri Hemea. I don't know how to say her name. I'm sorry, but this is the person, in case you want to get her. Really fabulous and, you know, the Red Priestess. And, um, got Davos, and he was made by Inside Diamond 14 Thank you for having a regular username, you know. Um, this is the outfit he was originally wearing, but I don't have spooky stuff. So, I guess I could get it. It is just a stuff pack, but yeah, in case you guys want him. Well, this is great. We met two people today. I'm so excited. What's wrong with my kids? They're all starving? Oh my god, I feel bad. Okay, well, we'll go home eventually. Can we take a shower while we're here? No, that's wild disrespectful. You can't just shower in their house. I want them to come back to my house, though. So I think I'll do that. I'll be like, hey, want to come to my house? You know, maybe my, my kids can meet you. Can I put them in a group? Yeah, actions. Add to group. And then we can all go back to my house. Because that's what we're going to do. And... So let's go. So welcome to my humble abode. Actually, I'll just start a club gathering. Ooh, see, I told you guys that my throat is feeling crazy. Did y'all hear it? Like, ugh, this is ridiculous. But yeah, um, hmm, level up in painting skill. We can do that. I do want to have a fun time with Melisandre. Do we have food prepared for the kids when they get home? Because I know they're hungry. Open. Yeah, we've got... We've got grilled cheese and stuff. Oh, Arya Moss mastered the party training. Yes, Humpty. This is what I'm talking about. So let's just put this set of food right here. We can grab a serving. Oh, wait, I should have them get points for eating. No, then they'll eat all my... Oh, my sundae. Oh, my God, I love them. But yeah, when the kids get home from school, the first thing they're all doing is grabbing a serving of food because they're all, like, starving for some reason. Even my sundae's hungry, and this never happens. That's crazy. And they all want to have fun, too. And some of them have to pee. Ugh, should I have them pee first and then eat? I just don't want them to pee their pants. Arya earned a raise. She now makes zero dollars. Wow. That's beautiful. Please stop throwing a tantrum. There's food literally right there if you would just follow directions. Um, yeah. So I do want the kids to meet our friends, because then... The more friends we meet, the more people we have to help us out with the kids. So, oh, look at him playing chess. Oh, look, this is your hot weather outfit. Okay, Davos, you're cute. Is your hot weather outfit literally this dress? Oh my god, are they gonna kiss? Whoa. Oh, I thought they were about to kiss right there. She's like, hey. 
This is so weird, because in the TV show, these two would never be dating, but apparently they're living in the same house, so okay. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, I should marry them and make them have a child. That would be hilarious. Um, yeah, everybody's eating, which is nice. And then after you're done eating, I guess you can take a shower and go to sleep. I'm just going to cue everyone up for what I want them to do. Yeah, oh, you're sad hot it's too hot for this toddler oh okay okay wait wait after you're done eating then how about you um instead of taking a shower okay so now that the disrespectful police cars that were being wowed loud have passed by <laughs> i had him set the summer set to cooler so that would be good and oh we need to clean the house clean up you want to come over to hang out i mean sure but i'm not going to talk to you <laughs> you're not from game of thrones yo i'm terrible and I'm gonna have him take a shower and just go to sleep. But yeah, I got all the toddlers set up while I waited for the police to go by. Uh, play with dolls and do what? Be friendly with Hodor. Why can I hear everything? My window is closed, I swear. I'm sorry if you guys hear these sounds in the background. But we can definitely do those things, John. And oh, Arya, yes! Go ahead and use the bathroom. Yeah, all the kids feel like trash. They're all like angry from being sleepy and stuff. I just want to take a look at all their skills real quick while they're all sitting here pottying. Wait, let me get the let me get the full picture. Bathroom pics, yes. Everybody potting. I I love this painting that's on the wall. Like, isn't this not beautiful? Okay, Aria, go do what I told you to do, little one. Let's look at all their skills. So John Snow, he's got level four communication, level three imagination, four, two, and four. Oh, he's almost done with thinking. Oh, I should get him there. Um, Masande is doing great because she never has to go to sleep, so she can always work on her skills. Um, Arya. Ooh, Arya, yeah. She's also doing pretty great. Um, Tyrion is doing pretty great as well. They're all doing really good. Like, they're all at different levels, but all their levels are pretty good. I'm glad that most of them have mastered thinking. Now, all I want is to get more people to master podium. Because that's important. Are you not going to potty? Or are you going to pass out? Oh, honey. No, you need to pee, though. <sighs> you know, she would be the one, though. She's, like, super annoying. <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, You are doing what? You're already asleep. Did you did you potty? Okay, good boy. Um, Yeah, his skills are okay, I guess. <laughs> Rickon is always going to be just the slightest bit behind because he is the youngest one. But that's okay. Arya, honey, what are you doing? You need to go to sleep. Come on, come on. Masande's like, why are they all asleep? I'm not even tired. But yeah, I think what I'm going to have them do, I'm going to have them all sleep. And then I'll cut back in when they wake up. And maybe tonight we can go on our fabulous adventure to the ruins because that'd be fun. Um, I guess I'll have her, I'll probably make her sleep too, because there's no point for Masande to be awake by herself. That's just really sad. But yeah, I'm going to have them sleep, and then we can go to the ruins, and that will be fun. Yeah, so I made this fun little area. They can all play here. Like, see, look, oh, yes, it's a little toddler area, because the park, I said, I guess received some complaints about not being family-friendly, so it's family-friendly now. And I kind of thought we might be able to see some good views from up here, but I guess we can't. But that's okay, it's still fun. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have the kids play around. I'm going to have him cook a meal for everybody because we're all hungry. Let's grill. Are you two fighting? Oh my god. What do we eat when we have a bunch of kids? Mm, oh, hot dogs. We can have hot dogs. Or we can have hamburgers. Let's make some hamburgers. Yeah, that's a good thing to eat. Um, How are you feeling, John? You're sad. Well, honey, just play. There's stuff all over to play with. Like, it's a hot day outside. Just play. It's a heat wave. Oh, wait, no. Don't go to daycare. Don't go to daycare. Rick, got... come back. Oh, he has to pee. See, and this is good because we have, like, all these, like, potties and stuff. So come pee. Potty train. No, not... Oh, that's that's you, not Rick on. Rick on! Come here and play in the water. Oh, they're so cute. That's great what I'm doing. 
see these toddlers are smart they're like all doing their own thing you can play you know i just want them all to have fun uh what are you doing play in tent then you're gonna play dolls like yes have the time of your life i think this would be a fun time you know we're just out here at night just having the time of our lives masande is sitting on one of our decorative rocks she's like yeah we lit i did bring um a selling table maybe we can sell some stuff if i just set this up like over here maybe i'll turn it around and like i'll put some things in it we can sell our snacks oh good the food's done okay yeah Where, where'd you put it boy put it on the table come on oh we can't put it on the table i i specifically put this table down so we could put food on it but okay um i guess everyone can come grab a meal I mean, I kind of want you to pee first, though. I don't want you to pee your pants. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll make him pee. Yeah, go potty. And then grab a serving. Mm, let's check on all the toddlers. You're feeling fine, as usual. You're starving, so grab a serving. You should go potty. And then grab a serving. You should also go potty. And then grab a serving. Stop playing, please. You are gonna go potty and then grab a serving. And you're just gonna grab a serving. And then when you're done eating, you can go potty. But yeah, this is just really cute, you know? They're all like out here at night, and oh, we've got some fun lights in the background from the ruins. You know, maybe we can pretend like we're at the Night's Watch. And, oh, I want to invite Melisandre. Quick, start a gathering. Tell them to come here. <laughs> Forget these toddlers. Um, what are you doing? Oh, Melisandre's feeling great. Yeah, I also added, like, this little corner. With, um, there's, like, an old abandoned toilet and sink and, like, an outdoor shower so that he can do that. What's this? <coughs> A wild apple tree. Why is it glowing? That's so weird. But yeah, see, this is cute. They're all sitting on the rocks, having the time of their lives. Oh, wait, hold on. Arya, look at the camera with your weird shaped head. Yeah, no, I can't do this. Um, oh, look at him climbing. That's my son, John. He's enjoying that burger. He's like, ah, oh, this is the best time ever. I don't know, I just thought it would be cute if they just had a fun time. And who are you playing with? Who are you water balloon fighting? I'm confused. There's nobody here. Oh, there's them. Y'all want to have a water balloon fight when you have to pee? Boy. Well, that sounds fun, but we should pee first. So let's go use the old abandoned, old abandoned toilet. And hopefully nobody sees us. I put a little hedge as a hideout. Because I don't want him to pee his pants, so go do that, and then you can have a water balloon fight with your friends. Um, what are you guys doing? Is Rickon still not here? Oh, no, he is. It just says that he's not, but he is. That's cool. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. This is so cute. Oh, my God. They look like they're having, they're doing, like, a summoning jutsu. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the night is dark and full of toddlers. Yo. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. This is great, though. Like, this is hilarious. Wait, can I get, like, a picture of this? Like, from, like, from, like, here, I guess. That'll work. The night is dark and full of toddlers. Maybe that'll be a screenshot. <laughs> Who knows? Um, so are you potty? You're still walking to the potty? Boy. And I put, like, toddler beds all over, so if people get tired, they can go to sleep. Actually, John, I need you to test out if you can get to this bed. Because it's in a weird spot, so I don't know if you can get to it. But, like, you can be my test subject. Good job, John, you did it. How's Masande feeling? She's finally feeling, like, a little bit hungry, so I think I'll have her eat a hamburger. Since there's only one left anyway, and we'll just lower this. Oh my god, yes, they became best good friends. Aw, that's cute. What are you doing? Yeah, her, she's feeling a little tired, too. Can you be the one to test out this bed? Because I don't know if we can get to that either. Just stop talking to the nurse and go, go to the bed. Good job. So maybe we'll sleep here. 
for the night. Oh, Tyrion stealing's fun. Yeah, go play dolls. That's a fun time. What are you doing? Oh, you're tired as heck. Oh, hon. Here, go to sleep. I feel bad because, like, I brought them here to have fun and they're all just going to sleep. But that's okay. Uh, how are you feeling? Oh, yeah. How about you go play with Tyrion? Good job. And I don't know what to say about Hodor because I know he's tired, but, like, there's nowhere for him to sleep, I don't think. But he can start a sale. So how about we stock the table and... Can you, can you stock the table, please? Oh, yeah, we have tons of things to sell. And we can start a yard sale. Oh, ten table. Whoa, this teddy bear doesn't belong to us. Stop talking to Masande and tend the freaking table. We can mark up the prices 300%, and then we can start a yard sale. Yeah, boy, nighttime yard sales. We're selling some sugar cookies, some brownies, and a ton of homework. Because what are we going to do with that? There are some toys placed around. I think it's really cute. Masane's having the time of her life. Um, oh, she's almost close to mastering her movement skill. You know what? I'm going to have her go pee. I mean, slide on the slide. Go slide. And can we put this in the trash can? Like, we don't litter in this family. That's an excellent question. Where have they been putting all their plates? Hold on. Or are there just not any plates because they're outside? I don't know. Oh, people are at our yard sale. Yes, let's let's pitch to them. Oh, Baco, did you just buy one of our homework assignments? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Yes. Oh, wait, you're a vampire? Oh, whoa, whoa, come back. Where'd she go? Oh, that was exciting. And we sold a homework book for four dollars. <laughs> I don't know. I never play with a yard sale thing, so I just thought it'd be fun. It's like four in the morning. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Um, hey, Victor Fang. Hey, Victor, you wanna buy some stuff? You know you wanna. Oh wait, hold on. Here's our toddler. Hey, girl. Oh wait, Masande. Ah, oh, that was the cutest thing. Wait, can you do it again? Can you slide again? Because that was really cute. And she just mastered the movement skill. Wow, so Masande's going to be the first one to master all her toddler skills. I just want to get a cute screenshot of you. Oh my god, yes. That's my daughter. Oh my god. That's my whole daughter. Oh wait, John's awake. Hey, John. What you doing? Oh, he's playing with a panda toy? Panda, panda, panda. I got bras in Atlanta. Pretty cars in the panda. Tyrion's just now going to sleep. Boy. It sucks that they're all, like, sleepy, but that's okay. Wait, nobody can go home because there's a there's a vampire on the lot? Oh. Hey, guys, buy my stuff. Oh, there goes uh, Rayella Targaryen. Hey. Let's give sales speech and friendly introduction. You know? We do need to get to know more people from Game of Thrones. Um, let's see. Is that Daenerys' like mom or something? I don't know what she is to Daenerys. Uh Ray Ella. Yep, that's her mom. Yes. Oh my god, you should wake up and say hi to your mom. Like, hey mom, I'm having the time of my life at Hoder's house. Um, wait, what skills do we need? You can ask her why. Oh, there goes Egret's mom. Mommy Wildling. Hey, let's let's give her a sales pitch and friendly introduce her as well. Yeah, oh, this is great. We're meeting, like, all the people. Oh, wait, they have school in an hour? Oh, I forgot they had school. Oh, they're going to feel like trash because they're all tired. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are there any other cool people here? Wait, I want to add these two to my club. I want to add you and oh we never got to meet mommy wildling Ugh, mommy wildling come back did people buy our snacks oh they did okay well the toddlers have school soon and um hodor is extremely tired so i think i might end this part here you know the yard sale is about to be over anyway but yeah this was a lot of fun you know we got to go to the ruins 
and have a fun time and oh wait wait let me get a picture of Masande. You know, I feel like a lot of the a lot of the thumbnails for this are just gonna be Masande being adorable because who doesn't love this little girl? You know? We did our night's watch at the ruins because the night is dark and full of terrors. <laughs> And we are the barrier that protects the realms of men, or whatever it says in the TV show. Uh, oh, John, you reached thinking level five. That's my son. Oh my god, I'm so proud of him. But yeah, I'm gonna have them all wake up now, and we can go home because that's important. Because then they can go to school. So yeah, I guess we can end the yard sale early, unless somebody wants to buy one more thing. Please, somebody buy our brownies. Oh, wait, is that who I think it is? Is this Oberyn? Oh, wait, no, it's Doran. It's Doran Martell. Hey, Doran. Hey, now. Hey, now. This is what Doran Martell looks like. Hey, hey. But yeah, you guys, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next part, you know, when we're not trying to sell things at the store. Bye.